Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2019. Uh, it is 38 degrees today, and right now it's a little past noon. And so I thought I would do a video. I'm going to show you. Uh, it's already starting to melt, which is fantastic. Uh, the steps are already melted pretty good, which is also good. Uh, anyway, uh, it's yeah much milder today. Uh, no wind going today, so that's a good thing. So uh, we're going to talk about what if I'm wrong, okay? So that's going to be the topic today. So bear with me just for a moment, and I will, we will get into that, okay? So yesterday on my way home, I had stopped into town and I had to do some running around. I was coming up the hill, and all of a sudden here, clank, 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 and I'm like, what in the heck? And uh, then my sensor went off, and my... Uh, my tire had a flat, okay? And so you can see that this light here is gone. So you can see the, the light there, right? So that light's gone. And what happened was I hit a screwdriver. And how do I know I hit a screwdriver? So here's the best part. If you see this little hole right here, you see that? Okay? There's where the screwdriver was hanging out. Uh, the handle was not there. It was just a screwdriver part itself. But uh, it flattened my tire, knocked that light out and that the screwdriver was protruding out of that spot. So uh, I took my had to take the tire off, as you can see. <laughs> uh, I took that down, and that's getting fixed right now in town, and I will be getting that back tomorrow. So, yeah, so that was just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> like, really? Guys, I'll tell you what, it's always something. So anyway, um, so let's talk about what if I am wrong. All right, so I did my live stream last night, and I was talking about up upcoming food shortages, uh, price increases of food. The prices have already started to increase. And, uh, you know, then I, I had somebody made a comment today, and they were like, well, what if you're wrong? What if you're wrong about this? And, uh, you know, there's there's been, you know, poor crop production before. There's always plenty of food. Uh, prices may increase. So what if you're wrong? What if you're giving people bad advice? Uh, are you going to come and do a retraction video uh, saying that you did you gave people bad advice? Well, So I wanted to address that, okay? So if I am wrong and there's not food shortages and the prices of food will continue to go up no matter what, Okay, so realistically, you are never going to get food cheaper than you're going to get it right now. That's the reality, no matter what. So if I encourage you to buy food, and whatever food you decide to buy, if you want to buy rice and beans, if you want to buy uh, freeze-dried food, if you want to buy, you know, whatever, whatever types of uh, canned goods, whatever you're trying to buy, uh, you're never going to get it cheaper than you're going to get it now. If you use it in a regular rotation... Uh, you're still going to eat it. So if you stock up, that's not a bad thing no matter what, okay? Now, what if I'm right? What if there are food shortages, okay? So, I mean, this person just went on one aspect of it, that what if I was wrong? So first of all, if I'm wrong about something, guys, I'm the first one, and anybody that watches my channel knows, uh, I will be the first one to get on here and say I was wrong, or I did something wrong, I screwed up, whatever. I... You know, I've always been very honest with you guys. I tell you the good and the bad. So that, I just wanted to put that out there. If I'm wrong, I would be the first to admit I'm wrong. But as far as food goes, uh, the prices have been continuously going up, as we all know. And so, you know, being prepared and being ready for whatever is never a bad thing. And here's the best part, and, I, and it's like, and I did mention this the other night, it doesn't necessarily have to be an SHT event uh, that is affecting everybody else, it could be an SHTF event that just affects you directly. So that's something to think about as well. So, you know, it, it could be an individual SHTF event. And guess what? We all have those. Every one of us has something going on in our life at some point in our life where something happens, be it uh, loss of a job, uh, sickness, where you're out of work for an extended period of time and you can't work, uh, that's why we prep, guys. You know, those are the main reasons why we prep. We prep for individual disasters. We prep for local disasters that are going to happen. It's just a smart thing to do. So, uh, you know, as far as what if I'm wrong? If I'm wrong, then, like I said, I'd be the first to admit that I'm wrong. But if I told you to go, okay, let's say I said, okay, right now, let's, and I'm just going to throw a number out because I don't even know what the number is. So a 50-pound bag of rice right now 
is $20, let's say, okay? All right, great. So I encourage you to go out and buy rice. Get Go get as much rice as you can. Uh, it's a great filler, which it is, okay? And right now it's relatively cheap. So let's say you go out there and you go out and you buy 400 pounds of rice, okay? And you pay $20 for the 50-pound bag. Well, now, a year out, there is that food shortage and it happens. Now that 50-pound bag of rice costs $40 or $50, uh, double what you paid for it. Now, will you continue to stock up on it at that point? I would, but you have to look at it, the advantage of, hey, I went and I picked up that three, 400 pounds of rice when it was still really, really cheap. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, it's a win-win situation. So if nothing ever happens, great, that's fantastic. Something does happen, then you're prepared for it. So, you know, in that aspect, I don't think that that's a bad decision to encourage people to stock up on food. It's not like I'm running a sale right now. I was not doing this video yesterday trying to run any kind of sale on anybody. I don't have a sale going right now. So I don't want people to think that I'm just encouraging you to do this or that or the other thing because I'm running some kind of a sale because I'm not running any kind of sale right now on my website. Uh, so anyway, I do want to mention this really, really quickly so people know. Um, right now, yesterday, if you look at uh, my numbers, and you will just see the hard number. You won't see the individual numbers anymore. It's at 74,900 is what you see. Uh, I see the individual count of what it is, okay? Uh, I will be doing a giveaway when we hit 75,000 subscribers. So uh, I looked this morning and I was at 74,904, okay? So we are 96 subscribers away uh, from doing a giveaway. So once we hit 75,000 subscribers, I'm going to have a nice giveaway for you guys. Um, my way to show my appreciation for your support, for being there. Um, the channel is back to growing again, which is nice, uh, you know. So, uh, but I definitely want to do that is uh, uh, my way of showing appreciation for everything. And so that is why uh, I wanted to do this giveaway. So that is what's happening. Um, so we're getting close, and uh, I'll keep you abreast on what the numbers are as far as subscribers go. But, uh, you know, we were, we'll definitely be doing a nice giveaway once we hit 75,000 subscribers. So when we do do the giveaway, um, obviously you're going to have to be subscribed. You'll have to comment on the video that I'm going to do the giveaway on. And uh, so some of the things that I'm, well, I'm going to, I'm definitely, so I'll just refresh everybody's memory. Uh, I do plan on giving away two 60 meal buckets from Legacy Foods. Uh, that's a company that I work with. And so I will definitely be doing that. Uh, the company won't give me stuff now because I'm a reseller of their product. So they won't give me things to do in a giveaway. But that's okay. I plan on using um, that anyway. I think it's a good thing to have. And as a giveaway, it gives somebody an opportunity to have a 60 meal bucket on hand uh, for emergency situations. So I'm going to be giving away two of the 60 meal buckets. And I'm also going to probably, what I'm thinking is a $50 gift card and a $25 gift card. So I'm just going to do the four things I believe is what I'm going to do this time. Uh, when I hit 100,000 subscribers, uh, that's going to be a much bigger giveaway because it's going to be, you know, a huge number for me, a uh, huge milestone when I get to that point. But uh, for right now, when we hit 75,000 subscribers, we're going to have a really nice giveaway for you guys. And so, and again, that's going to be my way of showing my appreciation for everything. Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you the chickens are out today. Uh, which is good, so they're out enjoying the weather a little bit. Uh, yesterday and the day before, they were not really coming out of that chicken coop. So even though I opened up the door for them, uh, they were not coming out. Puppies are doing good. They're enjoying the weather as well. So not a bad day. Like I said, so we're going to check here while I got you guys with me. And uh, we'll check and see what the solar did today so far. And like I said, I'm going to look at the time right now. It is... Oh, it's almost 1 o'clock. Okay, so I am wrong. I apologize. So, we will go in here. And we will take a look at where we are at this point. Okay, so uh, yesterday I ended up pulling in 2.6 kilowatt hours on the day. Alright, so right now we have pulled in 0.8 on this side. And we have 1.1 on this side. So right now we're at 1.9 kilowatt hours, bringing in power obviously on both sides. So we'll definitely, I think we'll end up beating yesterday's total. 
we'll have to see. But like I said, right now we're at 1.9. So not bad at all. And the sun's out, and you can see the sun on the panels. So it's getting plenty of power at the moment. Uh, so those racks that came, somebody had asked, where did the racks go? Um, well, there's one of the racks right there. And the other ones are back over here. <laughs> so, But uh, that's what those racks look like for the number 10 cans. So just wanted to point that out so you guys could see that. And, uh, well, yeah, so anyway, um, I will be doing another video later. I'm not sure. I might be doing it on the, uh, the Hong Kong. I was thinking about doing that. But I wanted to do this video first uh, because somebody had said that in the comments about the fact of what if I was wrong. So, like I said, anytime, guys, that I make a mistake, uh, I am the first one to admit that I made a mistake because, you know, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. So anyway, um, on that note, I am going to jump off of here for now. And uh, so I look forward to hearing from you guys. Again, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, you know, make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can get updates and stuff like that. And uh, so you want to make sure you hit all because it'll be, it'll say some or something on there. If you don't, when you click on that bell, you have to make sure you hit the all. So that way you get all the updates. But uh so that's what's going on. Um, we had a great, great live stream last night. A lot of people in there, a lot of comments, a lot of good talk. So it was really, really good. And uh, it, it was very, very productive, I felt. And so, but anyway, so that's where we're at. So remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really, really important to tell the people that you care about every single day how you feel. Okay? I hope everybody is doing well. Remember, guys, STD as well. Uh, it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from reaching your goals is you. Uh, that's it. Nobody else can stop you. Okay, so stay positive stay away from that negativity and you will be fine You can see it's starting to melt off the roof as well, which is nice But uh, so hopefully uh, next week we're looking at 40s and uh, We'll get rid of the snow which would be really really nice because it's way too early for the snow So anyway guys, I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody's doing well Prepper nurse one out for now